Me and old Slick Nick killed 24 of these gar last night and uh, kept them on spring water all through the night. We've got a big job box we put our fish in, a big plastic poly box. So some of them stayed almost alive. This is still moving its jaws. So these are real fresh to eat the next morning. Cold weather's warmed up today, but last night we were fishing, it was about 40 degrees. For the property owner, it's gets a big lake. She's trying to raise some other fish, so the gar are really messing her uh, balance up. There's too many gar in this. In I've already place. done two or three fish, and these fillets are still ice cold. Look at this. No bones in that. That's not a bone. That's like a, a vein line right there. Boneless fillet. It's just like a back strap on a deer. Let me show what we use. Ten snips. You'll see in a minute what we use those for. This is my best little gar knife. It's a deer skinning knife that I use. But I can get in there with my hand real, real easy, especially on a bigger gar. You can get your hand down in there. Just a straight blade. Heavy shank knife. Fillet knife for making those fine cuts. Use a drill and a big screw. I set the screw through the head to hold the fish on this plank. What I've done is I've already made a T-cut, I call it. Straight across, straight across with a knife. Run these 10 snips right down the middle of the back. I mean, right down what you would know is the spine. You hear that skin, those scales crunching. All right, then what I do is I open that seam up. Use your fingers, just be careful because that skin's real sharp where those pin snips cut it. I take this little, I like this little blade because I can control it. I put my finger behind it and I just run this outside of the, of the fillet, right inside the, the skin. This fillet will have no bones. People can't believe that on a gar if they've never eaten one or looked inside of a gar. You think these things are full of bones and they are. The rib cage is full of bones. It's a wonderful white fillet of meat. So these fish are you're going dormant for the winter and they lay in the bottom of that grass mat and it, you're hunting for the fish. I mean, you have to, like, you'd only see part of a nose, part of a tail, and you just pick out where the body is and try to make a shot. We were able to get the boat right on top of a lot of these. The shots weren't hard because the fish weren't scattered and taken off like they do in the summertime. It is not a fishy tasting fish, it's not. It smells like fish, but it does not have a fish flavor. If you kill these big gar, if they're bigger than my forearm, I'm gonna keep them to eat. Look at this filet. Right out of that fish, I'll rinse it off. And tonight I'll soak these in salt water, salt brine and ice for a couple days. <clears throat> Just change out the brine and the ice with salt. And there's what we got. Got that filet out of that one side. Check us out, we're gonna show a bunch of videos from the other night. We got some good, good videos of both fish. You're new to the sport. You're new to the sport. Old Nick Shelton's got a great YouTube channel. Follow his channel, learn how to both fish. Thanks for watching.